There may be times when you need to fully cancel an order. It's really simple to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, I'm going to get into the order that we are going to cancel. So I'm going to click into orders on the left hand side. And then I'm just going to click into the second order here. So this one was a test order. It was done in test mode, but it still lets you cancel it as if it was a real order. No payment will be transferred and it doesn't go in your analytics or anything. I'm going to click into this order. I did put a fake address on here, so just ignore the address. So if you want to cancel an order, you're going to click more actions up here near the top right corner and you're going to hit cancel order and it pops up with two options. You can either refund all of it now and then it shows the whatever the payment method that the customer used. This visa here is just a test order visa that Shopify gives you that number to use if you want to do a test order or you can refund later. If you select refund later, they'll say your customer won't be refunded. Refund the amount owed at a later point. In most cases, you're going to likely refund the whole amount immediately and then you can choose to either restock the items or not restock the item. So let's say you're not sending it because the item is broken and you just want to cancel the order. Maybe you would choose to not have it restocked because that item is broken. Or let's say a customer just says they don't want their order anymore. You can just have your items restocked because you still have those items. You never shipped it out. They are still in your possession. Reason for cancellation. Now this will affect the message that it sends to the customer. So I would recommend selecting the appropriate option. You can choose to send an email notification to the customer or you can choose not to send one. If you don't want one to send, you just deselect this box. So maybe if you're going to just write a customer an email saying, I have canceled your order, you will see a full refund. Maybe you wouldn't want to send them this notification. Now I'm going to show you the notification area of Shopify. So if you click this, it will bring you into the notifications area. So if you want to find the specific notification for the canceled order, it's a customer notification. So we're going to have to click into customer notifications. And now we need to find the canceled order one. So scrolling down, order exceptions, and then under here, there's order canceled. So if you select this, it will show a preview. So here is saying your order has been canceled, order, and then saying order number was canceled at your request and your payment has been voided. If you wanted to change wording on this, you can go into the edit code. And I do want to show you that right now it is coded to have a different message if you select different options in that drop down menu when you are canceling an order. So up here, if we hit edit code and coding, it can be a little bit hard to read, but here it is kind of showing there are different messages. You see how it basically has the same message popping up with the endings changed. So it's this one is saying when you select the cancel reason that the customer wanted to cancel, it will say order and then the order number was canceled at your request and your payment has been voided. Now, if you selected didn't have enough inventory, order number was canceled because we did not have enough stock to fulfill your order and your payment has been voided. If someone wanted to cancel because of fraud, order has been canceled because unforeseen circumstances and your payment has been voided. If the payment was declined, order was canceled because your payment was declined because of staff making an error. Order was canceled because of a staff error and your payment has been voided. If there's an other, order has been canceled because unforeseen circumstances and your payment has been voided. So it is programmed in here to send a bunch of different messages. If you wanted to come in and change them, you could. And then we can go back and preview. Just another way to preview it here. You can send a test email if you actually want to see it in your email inbox. And if you hit that, it will send it to your email that you have associated with your Shopify account. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the order page and we can finish canceling out the order. And once everything looks good, you can hit cancel order. If you decided you didn't wanna cancel, you could hit the keep order button or you could hit the X in the top right corner, but we are gonna cancel this order, so I'm gonna hit the cancel order button. And then this pops up order canceled. It'll say canceled up here. It's unfulfilled because I never fulfilled it. And then down here is saying the refund amount is pending, which again, this was a test order, so all the payment is fake. And then you restocked five items at one location. And it is as simple as that. So don't be afraid if you need to cancel an order because it's really not too hard to do.